and square over here one point is here one point is here another point is here and both these points if you look from this dimension this direction this point and this point would not be visible from this corner to this corner only points would be visible this is behind side so it would not be visible hence this point would be should be joined with the dotted line because it is away from us it is towards the xy line so from here draw takes straight vertical line from here draw straight vertical line that is projection line and horizontal line from this point so point number p3 would be here one point would be here another point would be here p3 dash and here is p3 dash so join these two points with the dotted line because it is not visible side it is invisible to us so it is not visible join with the dotted line now what's about rest points say this point say point number 4 point number 4 is here so from point number 4 vertical line horizontal line it will cut this red square at here one point is here the point number 4 point number 4 this is point number 3 from point number 4 draw straight vertical line and from this point draw straight horizontal line both will meet at this point this is point number p4 dash similarly from here vertical line here would be point number p4 dash and p4 to p3 4 and 3 is away from us so not visible so join them with the dotted line as well like this this is dotted line and similarly on this side also p4 p3 to be joined with the dotted line now what do you think about this point point number 5 name this point as point number 5 Find the position of this point. So for that, draw horizontal line from that point, projection line, vertical line from this point, transfer to this red colored square. It will cut over here. From this point, draw horizontal line. So here would be point number P5 days, and one point P5 days would be over here. P4 to P5 would be would not be visible. So join P4 to P5 with the dotted line. and p5 to p1 p4 to p5 with the dotted line and p5 to p1 would be visible so join that with the full line like this p5 to p1 and here this edge would be visible up to this end up to this end and here that edge would be invisible so draw with the dotted line on this side also it would be visible up to this and only after that a dotted line should be drawn like this so this is square this red line would touch this one as well so to draw it much clearly this shows the clear idea about this solution of this problem in this problem we can insert the dimension as per the need name the points as and when required try to avoid the confusions between repetition of the dimensions and clearly mention the types of line whether it is dotted line or full line so i hope the solution is clear to you that is problem number 3 now example number 4 <coughs> the data is given like this a horizontal triangular prism 40 mm sides 100 mm length completely penetrates a vertical cylinder of 60 mm diameter and 70 mm height the rectangular base of prism is parallel to vp and 24 mm above the base draw curve of intersection if both the axes are at right angle to each other now first think about the given data steps for thinking standing solid is a cylinder diameter 60 mm and the it's, it's given in the data draw top view front view and side view by taking projections from top view that is rectangle would be in front view and in side view also cylinder would appear as a rectangle and penetrating solid is triangular prism 40 mm sides so draw 40 mm sides 
triangle in side view such that the base is 24 mm above xy line here the case is given like this the base of this triangular prism is 24 mm above the xy line so to draw this problem let me have drawing of this solution so first we have to draw the top view of this cylinder that would be simply a circle below xy line as we are using first angle projection method the xy line drawn over here x y line and this is the meter line and by taking projection from this top view to the meter line like this and from here we can draw its side view of the cylinder by taking projection from this meter line to here in side view also in side view this cylinder would appear as a rectangle and in front view also it would appear as a rectangle of given height from this end to this end full line would be there after that it is penetrated by a triangular prism so that portion would be cut so that i have not drawn otherwise we have to erase that line so three views of this cylinder is drawn now about the axis of this solid from here the axis of this solid would be here somewhere here this is the axis of the cylinder draw here the axis of the cylinder and after that this is the axis of cylinder we have to draw triangle in such a way that its base is 24 mm above the base so draw a triangle over here such that its base is this is the base it is 24 mm above the xy line and complete the triangle the side length of this triangle is 40 mm like this so this is given data now draw three views of this triangular prism by taking projection from these ends vertical line from this point and vertical line from this point it will cut meter line somewhere here so horizontal line from here so this would be its top view this one and here it is inside this cylinder so that edge would not be visible hence it is to be represented by the dotted line it's a full line this is also full line and here a dotted line would be there like this similarly we can draw its front view as well this is the top view so the uh, overall steps remain same first we have to draw the top view of the standing solid then three views of the standing solid then in side view of the solid draw the shape of given solid say if it is a prism it's a ap appropriate polygon if it's a cylinder circle would be there after that complete the top view by taking projection in top view just dotted lines would be there and at the last we have to draw its front view by taking projections by picking up various points and find out the position of respective points so this we have done now about this point let me pick up each point one by one and their respective position point number one is here apex point of this triangle this is the point so from here draw straight vertical line horizontal line it will cut this cylinder at this point from that draw straight vertical line and horizontal line from point 1 so here would be point number 1 one point would be here here is point number 1 now what's about this point say so let me take intermediate point somewhere here here is point number 2 on the this side of this triangle how to find out position of this point number 2 so for that from this point draw straight vertical line right say let me write bigger letter point number 2 is here here is point number 2 
it will cut this cylinder at two points right one point is here here is point number two you can name that point say point number two point number two in side view is here in top view it would be here just a straight vertical line from here wherever it cuts the cylinder that is standing solid put that point so point number two is here now from this point draw a straight vertical line right and from this point draw straight horizontal line and both these lines will meet at one point and that is the point of intersection so it would be somewhere here right similarly on this side also we can find out the position of that point by drawing vertical line from here so that point would be somewhere here now what's about point number three this is the point point number three from this point straight vertical line horizontal line it will cut this cylinder at this point so from that point draw straight vertical line so here horizontal line from point three here is point number three or p3 days here is point number p2 days and this is point number p1 days so here is point number p1 days p2 days and p3 days now join all these points with a smooth curve because here cylindrical portion is there so they should be joined with the smooth curve similarly on this side also smooth curve would be there right now for this hidden portion what's about this one here the cylinder would appear up to this end so this line should be ex extended up to this end full line after that it will not visible so show it with the dotted line similarly on this side also upper edge would not be visible so represent it with the dotted line in front view like this so this is the solution of this problem as could be shown over here this is the solution we can draw the axis of this solid like this from this point this is the axis which also could be represented in front view like this <coughs> so I hope the solution of problem number four is clear to you now next problem problem number six fifth problem is longer so we skip that now problem number six data is given like this a vertical cone diameter of base 75 mm and axis 100 mm long is completely penetrated by a cylinder of 45 mm diameter the axis of the cylinder is parallel to HP and VP and intersects the axis of the cone at a point 22 mm above the base draw projections of the solids showing cause of intersection so here the given data is shown here it is a cylinder is there and a cone is there a vertical cone is shown over here this is a cylinder how to draw the solution of this problem so first draw lines dividing the surfaces of cylinder into 12 equal parts first we have to draw three views top view of this cone would be circle front view and side view of this cone would be triangle and the front side view of this cylinder would be circle and front view and top view of this cylinder would be rectangles after drawing this divide this circle into equal number of parts assume a horizontal cutting plane passing through say point number two so this is point number two we assume that it is a cut by this the section of the cylinder will be a rectangle of width w right this one that is the line 2 to 12 line 2 to 12 this line that would be width while that of the cone will be a circle of diameter ee this one ee these two sections intersect at a point p2 and p12 p2 is here and p12 is here p2 and p12 
these sections are clearly indicated in the top view by the rectangle 2 2 12 12 this one 2 2 12 12 this one 2 2 2 12 to 12 this rectangle this for this would be the shape and the circle of diameter ee diameter ee would be here here cutting plane method is employed to find out the points of intersection in the front view the cutting plane is seen as a line coinciding with coinciding with 2 2 days points p2 and p12 when projected on the lines 2 days and 2 with which the line 12 days and 12 coincides you can see here 12 days and 12 coincide with 2 and 2 days then p2 days and p12 days are the points on the curve of intersection p2 days and p12 days like this to obtain the points systematically draw the circles with the center o and diameters td ee ff etc take these diameters and draw respective circles cutting lines through 1 2 12 3 and 11 etc means cutting lines from all these points project these points to the corresponding lines in the front view and then these are the final views three given views of this solid front view side top view and side view now let me conclude our today's presentation key points of lines of intersection draw the first solid as per given position that is top view of the given uh, solid if it's a cylinder it would be circle if it's a polygon it would be if it's a prism it would be respective polygon if it's a, a triangle or a cone then it would be circle then second point locate the axis of penetrating solid in side view means locate the axis of penetrating solid then draw penetrating solid it would be triangle square or any polygon or a circle depending upon the given solid then locate the points of intersection between two solids join the points with suitable lines and insert the dimensions name of views etc and erase the lines types of lines do appropriate collection correction and find the solution of the problem so i wish you all the best for your exam